Look, there's a lot of BS about running your coaching business online, and I would like to talk about it. And I would like to really give you the good, the bad, the ugly. How does actually like running a coaching business online? Because this is exactly what I do. I run my business full time. I it's not a side hassle. I don't have a job. This is the job. This is the business. This is my source of income. So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you what it is like to run a coaching business and is it sustainable? And if you, it, I really hope this video will help you to decide whether or not this type of business will be sustainable for you or if it is something that you would like to do. So that's what we're going to talk about today and we're going to dive into it right now. Let's start with the background because background is important. Uh, your background might be different from mine. Your success might look different than mine. So my background, I'm a clinical psychologist by trade. This is one of my careers. Actually, before becoming a clinical psychologist, I became, I started as a sign language interpreter, Russian sign language interpreter. Then the, my second career is a uh, clinical psychologist, therapist, moved to the United States, started from zero in behavioral health, uh, become youth counselor, become case manager uh, for a healthcare organization, switch into tech, mentor a bunch of people in tech, built software, tested software, and started my own business. So this is my background. This is what I'm coming into coaching. In fact, the passion for working with people has been there always. Like I chose my profession very consciously. I wanted to help people. I wanted to work with people. Like, running my business, running my coaching business, working with actual people, solving problems, masterminding. This is the biggest joy from my business. So this is the background. So now let's break it down how it started in my business, how I started my business. Now, I want to give you a timeline for my business. So I started my business in 2023, meaning in January 2023, January 1st, I woke up and I realized that I don't want to cope my life away, that I meant for something better, bigger, and I want to create impact. And uh, I want to do a coaching business. That was the most rational. I did not want to go uh, back and um, reinstate my license as a counselor or as a therapist um, because it would take time, money, and the return on investment would not be as significant as if he, I were writing for my business. So that was my engineer inside of me saying that, no, starting your own business would make more sense. So after probably like a month and a half, a couple of months of um, trying to figure out on my own. And listen, when I say trying to figure out on my own, when I know what I know and I know, I know how to learn. Because when I switched from uh, behavioral health to technology to become software engineer, to be, uh, to know, I taught myself how to code. Because um, in my tech corporate career, my last position was senior software engineer and I was leading teams. I, I, I had really successful tech career. So I started researching coaching industry and I started researching a bunch of coaches. So five months later, I made my first 50K in my business. I My dream, 10K a month, 7 to 10K a month that many coaches are thinking about right now came to fruition within just four or five months. And listen, this is why I created free course, free masterclass rather, 10 steps to 10K a month because I wanted to document my process. What brought me 10K a month in my business and what it really meant. So, but in this video, it's not about my course, it's not about my coaching pro, but it's about what what is like what it is like running coaching business because business is 
is anything but stable. It's ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows, and you have to be ready for almost anything in your business. So, started my business, made my first first fifty k within like four or five months, and continued to invest. But this is like this. That was my reality. So when I started my business, I. Lost my job. I got laid off, and I get and I just had one client. And I invest that year. I invest. I invested twenty thousand dollars. My first investment was twenty seven hundred dollars for paid three day webinar that led to twenty thousand uh, dollar investment, which I did not make because I did not have clear picture of my monthly payments. So, free. Advice, free coaching for you right now. If you have monthly payment and if you have ultra high ticket offer, ultra high ticket mastermind, and you do not give clear picture to your people how they're gonna pay for it, people not gonna sign up. That was extremely not safe for me. I said no. So I invested in LinkedIn coaching, which was great, and I learned how to actually use social media and how to do social selling on LinkedIn, and not only on LinkedIn. But what was missing for me is messaging, because a lot of y'all think that oh, I just need to learn LinkedIn, I just need to learn Instagram, I just need to learn. YouTube, you like you gotta learn how to use the platform because each and every platform has a culture. YouTube has certain culture, LinkedIn has certain culture, Instagram has certain culture, and、um, my success was on LinkedIn. Majority of the time on LinkedIn and YouTube as my secondary platform. But also, what I want you to understand that、uh, in business, what you have to you have to divorce yourself from this mindset of employee that you will get a paycheck, that every month is going to be ten k month. Because this is why I say like ten k a month is not really a goal, because that there will be months where. Sometimes it is 10k. Sometimes it is zero. Sometimes it is 3k. Sometimes it is 500 dollars. But instead of focusing on monthly revenue, which why、like, you will have healthy monthly revenue as your business goes, but also it's about money management because if one month. You have significant revenue. Let's say, like my client made.、Um, 24k one day, and、uh, secure the revenue for next six months because it, it, because of the monthly payments. So that probably was altogether like 10k a month. But also, this is my invitation for you. I challenge you instead of focusing on on the number that I'm going to that you are going to make per month. How you gonna manage your money? Now, is coaching profitable? Is it sustainable? I'm like, well, listen, you you see where I live, right? Like, I pay I pay my bills, I pay my dues, but entrepreneurship is anything but predictable. This is where you have to manage your nervous system. This is where you have to trust the process, and、uh, I would say. You have to work with a mentor. You have to work with a mentor because listen, a lot of coaches say like you can do it on your own. Like, can you learn on your own how to do a brain surgery or heart surgery? No, you cannot. What makes you think that entrepreneurship you is something that you can toy around and actually figure out on your own? And listen, I'm saying that with all love and compassion because. Entrepreneurship is your lifelong asset. Is your lifelong asset, and also, it's important to switch your money mindset、um, to that to that understanding that money is energy, and money is currency, and money is the flow. Money will come and money will go. It's just the flow. Yes, you invest your money, you get your money back. You invest your money, you you get your money back. So, it can be coaching、um, profitable business. It can, but this is what you need to consider. You need to you need to be very specific because 
2020, listen, we got a lot of coaches from 2020. Good and bad. And a lot of people, listen, a lot of people burn so much on high ticket coaching. So much. People invested twenty, thirty thousand dollars without getting any results. And I'm not saying that coaches are bad. There are good coaches, there are bad coaches. There are good coaches and sometimes still people don't get the results. There are bad coaches that just ruin it for everybody. But this is what is important to understand. You have to be specific with your promise. You have to be specific when you like you can't just say life coaching. You can't just say career coaching. You can't just say um, I like I'm a, like I'm a strategist. You can't say, just say I'm a business consultant. You have to be specific AF so your people can hear you. And you have to create community because people right now are shopping for very specific things. I am a high ticket buyer. I bought coaching programs from $3,000 to $9,000. That's like that's that, that that's where I buy my programs. So now, uh, when I'm looking for a mentor, and I'm always looking for a mentor, I'm looking for very specific things. I and in fact, I I'm I kind of burn myself on um, mentors that sell everything for everybody, like every strategy. You want to build your email list, you can build your email list. You wanna you wanna do X, Y, and Z, you can do X, Y, and Z. High ticket, low ticket. No, like now I have very specific uh, requirements, very specific goal for my coaching. And this is what I'm going after. So if you decide to run your coaching business as a business, your level, the level of specificity is required. You have to be specific enough. You have to be, you have to have clear messaging. And with the market, that, like with down market economy in 2024, I, I'm telling you, it is harder to make clients, but it is still possible. And the, the, the key difference in 2024 is to go, after, uh, to go after your customer, to create community, and to know how to do prospecting. Because just posting and ghosting, it's not working. Just doing live streams and hoping that people just come and pay from live streams is not working. Just, um, I don't know, like having a profile, having online presence is not working. You have to do a lot more legwork, but it is possible. And it's it, the most important thing that it has to be simple. Your work has to be simple. So simplify your business model. So one customer, one offer, Go all in, uh, create your community, do your prospecting. And when I say prospecting, this is when you decide who you connect with, who you interact with, because your presence on the internet has to be intentional. I, there are many creators that I like and adore. I do not engage with them because they're not my customer. And I'd rather algorithm to know who I'm talking to, know who I'm interested in, because on LinkedIn, on Instagram, if you start engaging with the wrong audience, you will get the wrong feed. And a part of one of the part of social selling is you engaging with your customers. And if you get like garbage feed with garbage uh, information, you don't want to engage with that, right? So um, the bottom line, yes, coaching business can be profitable can be profitable. Let me know in the comments if you want me to break down the most profitable business in the coaching industry, and I will do that for you. So, uh, and um, if you want to learn 10 steps to 10K a month, I create a free masterclass, 10 steps to 10K a month. So check out the um, pink comments in the, in the comments and also the description box for this video. And also, I would like to hear from you. Like, are you trying to build a coaching business or mentorship business or a business online? And what challenges or questions do you have? Because listen, I take your comments, I take your messages, and I actually cover them in my live streams and in my videos. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you soon.